In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to use may and might to express possibility. Now, may and might are used to talk about what's possible or what's not possible in the present and in the future. To talk about the past, we use may have and might have, which we'll uh, discuss in another lesson. Now, first of all, may and might are both interchangeable. That means you can choose whichever one you want to use because they have the same meaning. Now, the only small difference is that may can sound a little more formal. So if you're writing, it's better to use may rather than might. But otherwise, they have the same meaning. All right, let's now talk about some examples. The first one is Jim might be busy. So imagine I'm trying to call my friend Jim and the phone rings and it goes tring tring. It keeps ringing, but nobody answers the phone. And I think Jim might be busy. Maybe that's why he's not answering the phone. Now, when I say that, I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. If I'm sure, I would say Jim is busy, but I don't know that. So to guess, I'm saying Jim might be busy. Of course, you can use may as well. Jim may be busy. The second one is the children may not be hungry. This is something I heard from my wife last weekend. On last Saturday, uh, me, my wife, and my kids had planned to go out for lunch at around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. But at 12.30, my kids were still outside playing. They had not come back into the house, and I was getting really hungry. So I said to my wife, hey, why are they still outside playing? We need to go out for lunch. And my wife said, the children may not be hungry. Maybe that's why they're still playing. Give them some more time. And I think they will be hungry in about half an hour or so, and then we can go for lunch. But right now, the children may not be hungry. Now, in this third example, the lion might be sleeping. This is something you would hear in a zoo. Like if there's a lion that's just lying there in its cage and it's not moving, uh, someone could say, hey, I think the lion might be sleeping, so uh, don't make any noise, be quiet because you don't want to wake up the lion. Notice that in this example, we are guessing about a continuous action. And the action here is sleeping. So we're making a guess about an action that's happening right now. The lion might be sleeping right now. It's not a finished action. It's not a single action, but an action in progress. This can be anything. It can be eating. So we. Uh, could say, the lion might be eating. So any continuous action. So in all of these sentences, uh, we're talking about the present tense, and you notice this be over here. It's very common to use maybe or might be when we're talking about uh, the present, and we're making guesses about the present tense. In the second example, you will notice that we've used may not. And we've used that to make a negative. You can make uh, any of these sentences a negative uh, simply by adding not after may or might. So Jim might not be busy, or the lion might not be sleeping, etc. All right, let's now uh, look at the next three sentences, and these all talk about the future. Uh, sentence number four is We may go to Italy on vacation next year. Now, you know it's talking about the future because you have next year there. However, we're still guessing about next year. This sentence tells you that we have not planned the vacation. We may go to Italy on vacation. If it's already planned and arranged, I would say we're going to Italy next year. But here, I'm not sure. So we may go. In this sentence, again, it's a negative. It might not be very hot tomorrow. So I'm guessing about tomorrow's weather. However, I have not seen the weather forecast, so I don't know. Now, today it's not very hot, so maybe tomorrow it might not be very hot. If I have seen the weather forecast, I would say it's going to be very hot tomorrow because the weatherman said so on TV. But here, I'm not sure, so it 
might not be very hot. And in the last example, I may be driving to Portland on Thursday afternoon. Now, of course, this talks about the future because it says Thursday afternoon. However, this is like this sentence over here because the sentence makes a guess about a continuous action in the future. So on Thursday afternoon, I think I will be in the middle of a continuous action and that action is driving. So I may be driving uh, to Portland on Thursday afternoon. All right, now we've talked about uh, positive and negative sentences with may and might. But how do you make questions? Well, there are two ways to make questions. The first way is to do what we normally do in the present tense. Now, if this was a present tense uh, sentence, uh, Jim is busy. That's a present tense sentence. We would change the position of the subject and the verb. We would say, is Jim busy? And that is the question. You can do the same thing with this sentence. You can say, might Jim be busy? And that is possible. That is grammatically correct. But that's not very common. So it, it, you can just leave out that method. I wanted to share it with you uh, because it's grammatically correct, but it's Old English. We don't do that anymore. The easiest way to make questions with may and might is to use, do you think? To make a sentence into a question, simply add, do you think? So, do you think Jim might be busy? Remember that the sentence is, Jim might be busy. But I have added, do you think? And I have also added a question mark. Don't forget the question mark if you're writing. Okay? So, do you think Jim might be busy? That's the question. It's very easy to make questions. Uh, in the same way, you can make questions with all of these simply by adding, do you think? So, do you think the children may not be hungry? Do you think the lion might be sleeping? Uh, do you think... I'm going to change this to you. Do you think you might be driving to Portland on Thursday afternoon? The answer might be, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think I may be driving to Portland, yes, on Thursday afternoon. Now, one thing to remember is in questions, it's more common to use might than may. So if you're asking a question with do you think, it's better to use might. All right, now I'm going to give you a small test to see if you can use may and might correctly. On the screen, I have four practice sentences, and I would like you to change these sentences using may or might. Now, if you need, pause the video for a moment, think about your answers to these sentences, and then play the video again. All right, let's talk about the answers. Number one is, I think Annie is angry with you. The correct answer is, Annie might be angry with you. Or Annie may be angry with you. You can use may or might. Number two, perhaps the children are playing outside. The correct answer to this is, the children may be or might be playing outside. Number three, is it possible that Marcus will come to the party on Friday? The correct way to make this a question is to use, do you think? So, do you think uh, Marcus might come to the party on Friday? Now, in this sentence, you can also use uh, will. So, you can say, do you think Marcus will come to the party on Friday? That's also okay. All right, and the last one, I'm guessing that there is a dog in that house. The correct answer, there might be a dog in that house, or there may be a dog in that house.